Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all really well and I hope you're in the crisp spirit. Um, I thought I would do a Christmas gift guide. So I'm actually going to focus on more like hamper ideas. I have a couple of ideas of what I would personally like. So it would be gift guides for like her. So like your mum, sister, girlfriend, niece and things like that. Um, so yeah, I thought I've really got some good ideas and I've got these actually for my own family members and I just love the idea. It's like luxury but on a budget so it's all like affordable stuff that you could put together and it's just much better than buying a gift set already made in my opinion. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing two hampers, so two ideas and I'm so excited because they are really, really nice. Without further ado, let's get straight on in to showing you my gift hamper ideas okay so what i've done is i've done two themes so i love doing a theme when i'm getting either a gift or doing anything in my house i just love to stick to a theme because then i know what i'm doing the first gift hamper i had the idea of making it a homeware gift hamper so as you all know i love my interiors love home stuff so if someone got me this this would be amazing but i'm going to show you each individual item and then i'm going to show you the hamper at the end um, just to give you an idea exactly how it looks and also how much everything costs and where it's from So I got this from B&M. So these are the items I'm, I'll tell you when I get it from a different shop But this one was from B&M and it's this reed diffuser Now we all know what this is a dupe for and it was only £3.99 And what I find what I found was really really good about this was the fact that it smells lovely, just to let you know. So um, I like the lime and basil scents, love those scents. Um, but yeah, I thought it was quite a bulky item. So if you're on a budget and you're trying to fill out a basket and make it look nice, I love the packaging on it. Um, if you're trying to make it look nice, then get like big items like this and then you'll get smaller items and it sort of bulks it out and makes it really luxurious. So I love how luxury that looks and it was only 3 99 So that was out of B&M. Then I've got like a little sign here. I've actually already got this sign in my house. I've got it on the, the door of my utility room and I just absolutely love it. It's so cute. So it's only £1.99 and it's just so nice to just add it to a gift hamper. So it says all you need is love and what a true saying. <laughs> but yeah, um, I thought it was really cute and it's literally 199 so it sort of bulks out but makes it look pretty at the same time. So yeah, love that for hanging on a door or something like that. Then my next idea again is, so we've got the reed diffuser and now we've got the wax melt in the same sense. And basically it looks, look how nice that looks. Like, it's just wax melts, but it's that luxury look, and it was only £1.50. So, again, this is just something that, if you're getting a homeware hamper, if people love homeware stuff, and they love candles, wax melts, and all of that, these are just an easy thing to add, and it just looks so nice. And also, just FYI, it smells lovely. They smell absolutely lovely. So, I just think that they're so good to put in a gift hamper. Then I've gone for another big item and it's this candlestick holder. Now this was only £4.99. Again, this is at B&M, so the theme is B&M here and the theme is homeware. And it was £4.99 and I just love that. Now, unfortunately, they only had one when I went in, so I'll have to look out because they've had these for a while now and I'll have to look out for another one because I always think when you get candlesticks, you should really get two. I've just got a thing for that. But um, yeah, it looks really luxurious, but it's only £4.99 and it's a homeware item and it's something I love. I love stuff like this. So obviously you could like tailor this to the person you're buying it for and their style, their design and all of that. You don't have to go for this exact look, but I just love how, honestly, it comes together like lux pure, pure luxurious, like it just comes together nicely. Then I've added in this little like snack bowl and it's like a star shape, it's white and it's got like the silver edge in. Now this here just gives me one white company vibes. I mean, like, come on, look how cute that is. And it just, honestly, you wouldn't think about putting a bowl into a hamper, but things like this, it just makes it look so nice and also it's useful. So I like the idea that it's an actual useful item and it's only a bowl, but you know, it's good. And it's £2.50, so again, not that expensive. 
And if you know someone who appreciates something like this and it's useful, they could also use that. They don't have to use that as a bowl for food or snacks. They could use it as a trinket dish. You could use it in the bathroom. You could use it anywhere you want. It's just a bowl, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And it just gives me them white company vibes. So yeah, £2.50, that was a bargain. Then again, out of b and I've got candles. So if you get the idea of the homeware sort of theme, you can buy anything you want, whatever budget you're on, but I just wanted to keep this to a budget. So within this hand place, everything is under £20. So I wanted to give that sort of affordability as well as luxury look. And it is a Christmas candle, so it's a Nordic ice, but it doesn't smell of Christmas. Like I, it's called snow, silver snowflakes. But when I say it don't smell like Christmas, it doesn't smell like a, a, a proper Christmas scent. So they could use this all year round and who cares? You can have Christmas in July. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but I just love the absolute look. How stunning that looks. It just looks really expensive and it smells lovely. And I, again, I love silver. I love white. You know me, as you can see from my tree, that rhymed. Just saying. Price isn't on it and I forgot, but it's, I think it was £2.50. It was no higher than that. It was definitely £2 or £2.50. So I thought that that was really good for a candle that looks like that. And it just looks so nice on your side uh, all year round because it goes with, if it goes with anyone's decor and stuff like that. So I just really loved that candle. Right now, I picked up another couple of items, but I got these out of Poundland. And this is optional if you wanted to bulk it out even more in the hamper and stuff like that. So I got this like soap dispenser and for a pound, come on, look how gorgeous that is. It is really like, it's ceramic, it's not plastic or anything. It's an actual useful item. So not only for Christmas, but if you're buying, someone's moving house and you wanna buy them a gift, then buy them a little homeware gift because they'll really appreciate that. Um, so yeah, it was only a pound, so I think that's just so useful. I'm sorry, but it is. You normally pay like four pound or something in another shop for this. Um, and it's just white and silver. Again, we're going through the theme. Okay. With that, I got the tumbler. So this is obviously the toothbrush holder or whatever you want to use it for. Um, but I'll tell you what you could do with this. So this was a pound in Poundland as well. So it obviously goes with the soap dispenser but a good idea that I thought you could do with this if you didn't want to use it as a toothbrush holder and they didn't want to use it as that is you could use it as a little vase so you could just put some stuff in there and put like a flower or some little flowers in there and I just thought that that would be so cute and you could add that to the hamper yourself so you could either tell them to do that or you could make it yourself and then make a little like display and you could you could actually get a couple of them and put them on bedside tables or anything like that. And I just think it's so nice because this is only a pound and you just put a couple of flowers in it. I literally just run upstairs just to have a look for my flowers because I thought I'm going to show you because it's better to see it and it looks nicer. So I've got these, so I've got these little bunch of flowers. I got these out of the range a while ago. They were like one pound something, I'm sure, but they're out of the wedding section and they're like nice and glittery and stuff. Now, obviously, this is just a bunch I've got. You could break this bunch down or fluff it up even more but and put something in it to keep it in if you wanted to but if I fluff these flowers around you get the idea do you see what I mean so obviously you get my idea of making it like a little flower vase arrangement and I just think that that looks so cool so you could get them some faux flowers put them in there yourself and add it to the gift basket and just make it that little bit more luxury. And that is only like that flower, like a thing, um, bunch as well, is about one pound something, I'm sure it is, um, out of the range. So you could just do that, but you could get flowers out of the um, pound land, you could do anything. But yeah, arrange that up and then you've got like a little vase as well. So yeah, I just think that's a nice idea. But obviously you could actually use this as a toothbrush tumbler, you just give it to them for that reason. But um, if you wanted to add something a little bit more, then you could put some flowers. For this hamper, what I like the idea of, in my, in my opinion, I thought, since as as it's a homeware hamper, and we are trying to waste less, if you like, we want to, we don't want to throw away as many things, we want to be as sustainable as possible. I thought, how good, we all love a pretty basket. <laughs> so... Instead of using a hamper that's like a flimsy hamper that someone may throw away one day because they don't really want to use it, storage with too flimsy, you know the classic hampers, so you get the really flimsy ones. Now, the thing is with them is I've seen them in Woolco's and they were like £3 each, and they're great, but like I said, someone might throw that away, they might not actually want it. So, I thought get an actual basket they're going to actually use for storage, and it's part of the present. So this was only £4, right? 
So it was on special. It was four ninety nine originally, and then it was on special for four pound in B and M. And look how beautiful that is. Now they can then use that as storage as whatever they want to use it for. They can use it for toilet roll in, a, in their bathroom. They can use it for towels, like little rolled up flannels and stuff like that. They can use it for absolutely anything they want, obviously. But I love the handles on it. It's just so cute. And it does look like a hamper. I absolutely love the idea that this is actual, I mean, give me a basket for Christmas on its own. Forget what's inside it and I'll be happy, let's be honest. I love pretty storage and this is just beautiful. So yeah, four pounds that was. So I'm gonna show you in a second everything together in this basket. Okay, so for packaging wise, when it comes to hampers, um, I found this in Asda. And it is, I thought this was really good by the way, because you know how we're trying to be sustainable and everything else. I thought this was a really good idea. So it was only a pound and it was the shredded, the shredded like paper. And like, you know, yes, it's in plastic. However, it says on there that it is recyclable uh, tish, uh, shredded paper and recyclable packaging. So all of this is, is eco-friendly. So I just thought it was really good because it was actually really hard to find because tissue paper is not eco-friendly. And I was trying to go down the route of being sustainable, everything being used and useful. And that's the thing, when you buy a present that's like a gift set, that's like 20 pounds, you get like three items in it and you've got a hell of a lot of packaging in that that then goes in the bin and you spend 20 pounds on it. And the, the person that you're giving it to only actually gets three things, but you're paying for the packaging. So I just think if you've got like things like a basket that they're gonna use, homeware stuff that they're always gonna use and not gonna throw away, I just thought if we could just help a little bit, it'd be great. But also I just thought that it was a really, really good idea. I just, I love that. I mean, anyone wanna give me a homeware hamper for Christmas? I'd be well happy with that. So obviously then you would put that in the hamper. So I'll show you that in a second, but I'm gonna move on to hamper number two. Sneak peek of me actually putting it inside the little thing. So the idea I had for hamper number two is like a spa, a spa type hamper. So a self care hamper, very nice and all of that. Now in this hamper, I wanted to try and be, as I was saying before, I wanted to try and do a sustainable style like beauty, spa, that type of thing. I think we all need a bit of self care at the moment. So this is probably a perfect gift to give anybody. And in fact, I reckon like I even a teenager would appreciate this because my niece, um, she would love this by the way. <laughs> but basically um, what I'm trying to say is I wanted to go as sustainable as possible. Not everything in this basket is completely sustainable, but it's very, very hard to do by the way. And if I shopped around, then I would have been able to, but I, I just went to Wilco's. So the first thing I got in this like self-care spa hamper, was these reusable bamboo makeup remover pads. Now you get 10 in these, and they're obviously wash up um, makeup removers, or skincare pads, or whatever you want to use them for, and they're obviously washable. You get 10 in here, and I thought that was really good. And this was only £2.50, so I loved how cute the little packaging was with it, to be honest with you. And obviously it holds your um, pads, so then you always got a space for them um, in here. So I just thought, that this was so good and right now the way everyone's thinking about trying to help save the environment i think that's a really good idea to just even if you just change up one thing because i'm doing the same thing so if you do what i'm doing i'm just going to change up little bits that i can things like this if i do this instead of using cotton wool then i'm helping or instead of using wipes then i'm helping obviously i use a flannel as well but um yeah i just thought that was really good and um yeah, that's, that's the first part of the self-care. I got this, and this was just a pound, and it is just a, I don't know how to say that word, sisal pad. But basically, it's a exfoliating sponge pad thing. And I just think, I love the aesthetic of it. I know it's just a sponge, but it goes with the theme of the basket. Very relaxing and spa. Then I got a, is it a luth? Luth? So it's obviously that, um, well, it's a luth. It's a luth. <laughs> so again, it's just the same sort of thing, like, you know get the idea but yeah then i got put some moisturizing gloves in here again this was a pound i've got like a little um soap now again it tells you on the box so this is where i found it difficult to then add it to make it sustainable so do you see what i mean you could just add a few things try your best and then wherever you go from there you go from there but the packaging in this this box is recyclable 
However, the film is not um, not yet recycled. That's what it's saying. So for the environment, it's got a little thing there that says. So if you did want to go all out, then yeah. Um, but this was just a pound, I think. And it's just a bar of soap. <laughs> but I just thought that goes really nicely and looks lovely in the hamper. And someone appreciate that. I love coconut and vanilla. Pop a candle in here. So these are all from Wilco's, by the way. Sorry, I'm not saying. these. Everything I'm showing you in this basket is from Wilco's apart from the basket, but I think you can get the basket in Wilco's to be fair, but anyway. So this here again is the same sort of theme as like, I love this theme, but it just looks so relaxing. So can you imagine giving this to like your mum, your girlfriend, your sister, even a teenager, they like candles as well. But it's fresh basil and garden mint. This is very, very nice. And this was down to three pound. So it was actually in the south, it smells so nice. Um, so yeah, it was down to three pounds. So I love that. Look how chunky the glass is as well. Like how nice is that? So yeah, I put a candle in there, which is a good idea for a self-care pamper spa type of hamper. Then I just popped a little flannel in and it was only 35p, but it bulks out the box, makes it look beautiful. And every, it's very useful because everyone loves a flannel. So we just like rolled it up and put it in. So yeah, that was only 35p. Now here's where, again where I struggled because it's like the actual skincare. I'm sure you could probably get items that are a little bit more sustainable than these. But again, I was only in Wilco's. I was trying to stick to one shop and one budget. So I got this, these were like a pound and it's the Skin Therapy face mask. Now you could get any face mask. And like I said, you could probably get ones that recycle. I'm not sure, but this is just an example of what I'm showing you. So again, it goes with the aesthetic of the hamper. So I love it. Obviously it has plastic packaging. So again, I, I mean, you could probably, at the moment, Lush isn't open. <laughs> I don't know if they're doing it on, no, I don't know if they do online, do they? But um, you could probably get one out of Lush and then you could package it yourself with brown paper. So you could do that. And I had the idea of that, but like I said, I, Lush wasn't open when I was purchasing this, but I wanted to show you. So you could then put a bath bomb in. This was only a pound, this one. But again, like I said, Lush, if you want to be a little bit more luxury as well, and everybody loves a bit of Lush. So you can get a really nice one and pop it in with brown paper that's recyclable. So, and put a little bit of ribbon around. You can make your own little sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I loved that. So that's the bath this bomb. This basket I got from Poundland, only a pound, and it serves a purpose. So again, it's reusable. So this is another idea. Use a reusable thing for a basket, um, for a hamper basket, because they could, everyone could always do with things like this, you know? So it's one pound, it's much cheaper than a natural hamper. And it is it goes with the theme as well, because this is good storage for the bathroom and all of that. So yeah, I love the idea of putting it in here so you could reuse the actual basket. So this is the finished hamper. So I've put the, I'm gonna have to try and show you this without smashing anything. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is, so if you look there, I'm going to try and tip it a little bit so you can see, if not, I'll have to bring my camera down. So if you can see there, I've got all of the straw in, and then I've got all of the bits in. Now, they might have moved a little bit, but you get the idea of how I've laid it out, and look how beautiful that looks. I mean, would you not be happy if you got that for Christmas? All the items inside were under £20, but if you want to include this basket, then that was like obviously £4. So it depends on, because you could buy any basket sort of thing. But if you get the idea of how it looks, I'm gonna try and show you, I literally am gonna try and show you about smashing anything. But look how stunning that looks. And I really like the fact that I've got all white stuff, silver stuff, and then you've got the red shredded paper. I just think it looks so festive. So yeah, I really love the idea of like a homeware gift hamper. Do you know what I mean? Like it's just honestly so luxury, but all of that is budget stuff, like B&M, Poundland. And you could obviously do this and just buy Poundland items, or you could do this and just buy anything you want. You could buy from all different stores, like all different things that you know that that person will like. I just wanted to try and stick to the least amount of shops as possible. But look how stunning. I mean, come on, I'm quite proud of this hamper. You can even jazz it up by putting like little berries in, like that, you know, like attach berries to things. And it looks really, really festive. Like, how cute. I actually love that, but like, you know, 
stuff all of the berries in and stuff like that. You don't have to, you can do it without. But I just thought that that would then look nice and really presentable if you just did things like that. I got these from Poundland, a pack of um, a few of these. So obviously a pound. And yeah, just stick some berries in and stuff like that and you make it look really, really festive. Like, oh, love that, love that idea. And this is like the spa day type of look when you put it in the basket. Now, what I have had to do, yes, I've got tissue paper under here, but this tissue paper is what I already had, by the way, and I didn't have loads of that left. Um, but I wanted to show you the idea of it all. So I think that looks absolutely lovely. My niece would love that. My sister would love that. Majority, I would love that. <laughs> but look how nice that actually looks. So, yeah. Love that. So the other idea I had, which you could do with without using the tissue paper, uh, no, without using the, the shredded paper, you could either put, so if you want to spend a little bit more money, you could put a blanket or a towel even, which is both useful, inside the hamper for homeware. And you could put like some flannels at the bottom of this one to puff it out so it all stands up nice. So you get those M35P um, flannels, or you could put a little hand towel in there, really nice one, and then sit them on top. And again, it's all then used and useful. So yeah, that's the idea that I had, but for now I've done it like this, but just so that you know if you want to do that. But yeah, I absolutely love that. So that's my self-care hamper, and that's my pamper hamper. My pamper hamper, love how that rhymes. So that is the two hamper ideas I had for gifts for Christmas. So I do hope that you liked them. And so we've got a homeware hamper, and we've got a self-care pamper spa hamper. And I'll give you some little ideas of maybe how you could do it sustainable and stuff like that in case you're interested in that. So I do hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope you are very well. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Da, 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 making our Christmas memories.